Hi guys, we are going to do a quick walkthrough of how to set up an APA style document in Google Docs. The first thing that we want to know is that our font in APA style has to be Times New Roman 12 point font. Um, when you set this, Google Docs is going to change it for the body of your paper, but not for the header. So as soon as we get up here into the header, we're going to want to change that font again. Now, um, when you are setting up your APA style document, you want to, on the first page, hit this different first page option right here, because uh, on the first page, we need the actual words running head, whereas in the rest of the document, they don't appear. So click the different first page button to make sure that we don't end up with those words on every page. Notice that when I click that, our font changed back to Arial 11 points. So we're going to change that to Times New Roman 12 point font. We're going to type in the actual words running head with a capital R and a lowercase h. They're followed by a colon. You're going to hit the caps lock and you're going to write your title all in caps. Okay, the next element is going to be your page number. So we're gonna tab to the right until our cursor lands right here underneath the six. Go to the insert tab. You're going to choose header and page number and we're going to choose page number and we want this option right here. Once we've selected that, we need to make sure that our page number uh, appears right here at the margin, but we can't do that by pressing the tab key because that's gonna throw it down to the next line. So instead, we actually have to use the space bar and we're gonna scoot over here to the edge and there we have it. I'm gonna click down here in the body of the paper. Your APA style paper is made up of four sections. You have the title page, the abstract, the body of the paper, and the references page. If you are not writing a paper that uses information from outside sources, you won't need the references page. Otherwise, you're gonna want all four sections. In order to compose the title page section, we're gonna press um, the center align button right here, and you're gonna type your title in title case. You've been capitalizing titles for forever. You know how to do it. We don't need to go through that. The only thing that you need to know is that APA requires all words of four letters or more to be capitalized, even if they're prepositions. Once you've typed your title, press enter one time and you're gonna place your name right here. Press enter one more time and type the name of the school you're writing for. In this case, we're writing for Flathead Valley Community College. So that's the one that we're gonna place here. Once you've done that, you can either highlight it with your mouse or you can press Control A for select all and we're going to choose double spacing. Everything in your APA style paper must be double spaced. There are no exceptions. This is all the information that gets placed on your title page. I do have students ask me from time to time where exactly this needs to appear. APA style rules say that as long as it falls above the midline of the page, that's going to be this four and a half inch mark on your ruler. As long as it's above that, you can put it anywhere you like. I like it kind of up here. Some folks like it to be right down here, right above that midline. It's up to you. Okay, that's all for the title page. Now we need to move on to the next section, which is the abstract. The best way to get there, instead of pressing enter a whole bunch of times, is to go back to insert. And we're actually gonna choose this right here, which is break. We're gonna choose the page break, or you can use the control enter shortcut, okay? When you click on that, it's going to automatically kick you down to the next page. On this page, we need to make sure that we do our header really quick. Okay, we've already got our page number in here, but um, we're gonna have to set up our header really quick. So turn your caps lock on again, your title all in caps, minus the words running head. You'll notice that they don't appear here. And then we're gonna tab over and we're gonna use our space bar. And there we have it. You won't have to do anything else with the headers in the rest of the paper. Here, we're going to type the actual word abstract. Be sure to shut off your caps lock. I'm going to press enter one time, and then I'm going to click the left align button. 
And I'm going to start typing my abstract, which is a summary of what I've written in the paper. It's actually easiest, you guys, to write the abstract after you've written the rest of the paper. So um, if you find it easier to write the whole thing and then summarize it, which most people do, come back and write the abstract after you've written the rest. The only thing that you really need to know here um, is that there is no indent on the abstract paragraph. So don't indent here. Okay, couple of sentences of summary and that's it. You're done with this page and with this section. Um, you can go to insert and break and choose page break or again you can hit that control enter shortcut and that'll move you to the next page. When you get here, you're going to press the center button and your title is going to go here in title case again. I know that it's right up here in the header. I know that it's right here. Um, you're required to have both because this is where your essay begins. Do not skip this title right here. Once you've typed that in, you're going to press enter one time. We're going to left align, hit the tab key. This is going to give you a half inch indent and your essay begins here. The only other thing that you need to check is your margins. APA style requires one inch margins, which Google Docs usually defaults to now, but it's a good idea to check. So go here to file, go to page setup, and you'll find the margins right here. If you see anything bigger than one inch, go ahead and change it. Otherwise, you're good to go. I'm going to hit OK. If you are writing a paper that does draw from outside sources, once you've written your essay, go ahead and hit Control Enter or go back to Insert and Page Break. You're going to choose the center align. This is the fourth section of your paper, the references section. And we're going to type the actual word references up here. I'm not going to go through how to construct references, but there is one thing that I want to show you as far as the formatting is concerned. A lot of students struggle with this. Remember, first and foremost, that all of your references do have to be double spaced, just like the rest of the paper. Once you've typed in your references, don't try to press enter right here and tab things in and stuff like that. That's actually going to make things a lot harder for you. Type out the references. Place all the information that you need, and then once you're done, you're going to highlight the reference, and you're going to come up here to your ruler. This is how you're going to get your hanging indent. See this triangle with the rectangle on top? You're going to click on the triangle and drag it here to the half inch mark, and then you're going to click on the rectangle, and you're going to drag it back to zero. I hope that this has been helpful. Please remember that you can always ask your instructor or the writing lab for any help with setting up your APA style paper formatting and um, happy writing. <laughs>